how is Pluton in Wano? How are Wano's resources the key to creating the second Pluton? How is NL a hint to what Pluton is? How can Pluton destroy islands? Overall, what is Pluton? Wizard of Ors here and today we'll be discussing all those questions and what I believe Pluton is and will be. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and even hit that notification bell just like Luffy and Skypea and now let's get into it. To start this theory off, first let me explain that there will most likely be two Plutons. There's one from the Void Century that apparently still exists in Wano, and then there's another one that Frankie will most likely build himself. I'd assume that the latter will be the better and more advanced one. Also, in Frankie's backstory, it's told to us that Pluton is in fact a warship, so just keep that in mind with what I'll be telling you. Now that you know the simple facts, let's get into the actual theory. So I believe the word Pluton is both a reference to the Greek god Pluton and the geological term of a certain rock. The rock known as Plutonic Rock is created from magma cooling down, solidifying, and then crystallizing. This whole process happens underground. Another thing worth to mention is that the term Plutonic is in fact a reference to the Greek god Pluto. Apparently Pluto was the god of wealth or of the riches of the earth. So knowing what Plutonic Rock is and that it's connected to the god Pluto, what if in one piece there's Plutonic Rock under Wano because of the huge volcano? Also also, what if I told you that I'm almost 100% positive that this plutonic rock under Wano is actually the mineral of Sea Prism? Now you may ask, well how can I be so certain of this? Well, that's where the whole land of Skypea comes into place. In chapter 240, we learn that sky clouds are created from a substance called pyroblown which comes from Sea Prism stones. Apparently this substance pyroblown that comes from Sea Prism gets ejected in the air by volcanic eruptions. After this happens, sea and island clouds are created when it comes in contact contact with water that's in the air, or basically when it comes in contact with normal clouds. Since this substance that comes from sea prism stone is ejected in the air by volcanic eruptions, this makes me believe that the sea prism stones are formed from the magma of the volcano at Wano. We also know that only this volcano can be responsible for the substance of pyroblowing, because sea prism stone comes from Wano and Wano only. Sure, the marines may have sea prism weapons, but they only have a limited amount because it's born in Wano and they can't have any more than they already have. If anything, they might have been able to buy some from Kaido as it seems he had miners digging up the stone for him. That's what makes it so rare and valuable. Another thing that makes this stone so valuable and important to the story of One Piece is that I believe the legendary ancient weapon known as Pluton is made out of this exact stone. Wouldn't that explain why it's called Pluton? What if Pluton is a bow made out of the Plutonic rock of One Piece, the rock that is formed from the volcano at Wano? Wouldn't it also make sense that this is Pluton since the ancient weapons seem to be natural forces in the world that were foreshadowed since the East Blue Saga. Poseidon is a natural force of the world which is the ability to control the Sea Kings. The first Sea Kings were introduced all the way back since the East Blue Saga. Just like the Sea Kings, Sea Prism Stone was also shown since the beginning of One Piece in Logetown. So maybe just like how Poseidon is a natural force in the world, maybe Pluton is made of a force of nature which is the stones that can take away the Devil Fruit's ability. I personally always believe that whatever the ancient weapons are, Oda would have shown hints of them since the beginning. We also see somewhat a connection with Sea Prism Stone and boats, because in Water 7 we learn that Dr. Vegapunk is behind the technology of putting Sea Prism Stones on Navy ships so they can pass through the combat safely. Now we know that Vegapunk and Frankie have a lot of connections together, so what if Frankie also builds a warship out of Sea Prism Stone, but a much better one with Ippy and Pluton. Now with all this being said, just because Pluton is built out of Sea Prism Stone, it doesn't necessarily explain its importance in the story and how it'll be used to destroy the world. By the way, when people say that the ancient weapons have the ability to destroy the world or split the seas, I personally believe that it means that they'll destroy the Red Line since if the Red Line goes down, the old world will ultimately be destroyed to create a new one. It'll bring everything into one piece. So with believing this, how can a warship made out of Sea Prism Stone destroy the Red Line or an island all by itself. Well, this leads me to my next point which has to do with NL. Before we get to this though, remember to like the video and even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you've liked even one thing that I've said so far. Anyways, going back to NL, I believe that his ship called the Arc Maxim is a direct parallel to either the old Pluton, the one that will be built by Frankie, or both. The first reason I believe this is because the key element to creating this arc was the gold from Shandora. The reason NL needed this was because 
because he used the gold to power up the bow and make it fly. Now maybe this is the first parallel as just like how Anel needed a specific metal of gold to make his ship fly and function, maybe Pluton needs sea prism stone to be able to function properly and have its true purpose. I mean, if you don't believe this is a parallel, then check this out. Did you know that gold is found in the specific veins of plutonic rocks? Yep. Gold itself is from plutonic rocks or in One Piece terms, it's from Sea Prism Stone. Wouldn't that explain why Wano was originally called the Country of Gold? If gold comes from Sea Prism Stones, or should I say plutonic rocks, wouldn't that explain why Wano's currency runs under only gold, silver, and platinum? Keep in mind that this is the only country in the world of One Piece that does this, and on top of this, both gold and silver come specifically from plutonic rock in the real world. Not even Shandora uses gold as a currency as they find it valueless. With all this being said, what if all the gold from Shandora came from Wano or was shipped from there because they had so much gold from their sea prism stones? I mean, we do know that there's direct parallels with Shandora and Wano since both countries have the same symbol of the sun with eight circles around it, both countries had closed off borders, both countries were known for gold, and weirdly enough, both countries have ties to the Oni race. We expand more on these topics in other videos in the channel, so if you want to learn more about the Wano and Shandora or connection, the links will be in the description. Anyways, going back to NL and Pluton, try to also remember that the god Pluto's name comes from the term wealth or rich one, possibly referring to the precious metals found in the earth. The most precious metals in one piece, being sea prism and gold, may both be used on godly ships that parallel each other. Another reason I know that NL's arc maxim parallels Pluton is because just like Crocodile said, that Pluton has the power to destroy a whole island with one blow. The arc maxim also holds the power to destroy Sky Islands. The way Anel explains it is that the project called Death Pia uses Anel's energy to produce clouds that can contain strong electrical currents running through it. This energy is transported from Anel to the gold. With this, the clouds will be able to emit thunder or lightning 10 times stronger than Anel's attacks. Overall, this is the power to completely destroy islands. So if the Arc Maxim and Pluton are two sides of the same coin, maybe the Sea Prism Stone itself won't be the weapon, but will only be the holder of the weapon or the key ingredient to create the weapon that can destroy islands just like the gold on NL's ship. Knowing Frankie, he can definitely create something insanely strong since it seems he may have memorized the blueprints and since it was his dream as a kid to create the greatest warship ever. With everything I've now explained, I truly can't wait to see what Pluton actually is and I hope we learn soon. If you've enjoyed anything out of this video, then remember to smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ready and if you enjoy videos like this. If you like to dive deep into One Piece's biggest mysteries, then I think this is the right place for you. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and please remember to have a great day.